Hey everybody. In preparation for this Thursday's training video, which is our fourth Thursday training video, I realized when I was getting ready for that tonight that there's a little bit of prep work that we should do. So many of you have been awesome and you've participated in lots of the challenges and I was thrilled to see the list of 20 problems that you solve within your personal business. Some of those were really, really excellent problems. Some were still listed as a form of solution, like how to, or this is what you do, but the majority of them were actually listed in the form of a problem, which then can turn have multiple solutions. So I was super excited to see that. But what I wanted to do was give you some information to be thinking about, a little bit of a, a challenge, more additions to our bonus tracks, so that you can prepare for this Thursday. So the question I have for you today, or for tonight's commentary that you're going to put in down below is, who are you talking to? Now that might be really simple. And some of you might be thinking, like, Lauren, of course I know who I'm talking to. But in your business pages and when you're talking to your audience and your social media platforms, when you're putting yourself out there that you are definitely in business and you're open and you're ready to solve problems of your audience, who is it that you're talking to? And your homework for this, and this is going to be hard for some of us. Some of us, this is going to be really easy. A lot of people love to like break this down and really find a niche, and others are really very glossary. But together, because here in this group, who I'm talking to are business leaders that are looking to increase their sales and boost their awareness through social media. That's the audience that I'm talking to. So I'm speaking to you guys very specifically about work that I know is proven that works for you. These are the problems <laughs> that we're solving. Okay, so little examples here and there. But what you guys are going to do is identify the three groups. So the three main categories of audience that you are speaking to. Now, some of you are going to do one of two things right now. The first thing you're going to do is be like, Lauren, my products and my services, the problems that I have to solve is for everyone. And it's really not for everyone. And let me give you an example. In our industry, not everyone loves a full face of makeup. In our industry, not everyone loves red lips, bright lips, bold lips, or even nude lips. There are different characteristics and different likes and different likes dislikes, likes and dislikes for various audiences. So depending on who you are cater catering your content toward, that will define your target audience. So in tonight's challenge track, what I am asking you to do is to compose the three specific groups, really niche this down, okay? Really like hardcore create the three specific groups or you can picture three specific identities of individuals that you are catering toward. For example, some of you cater toward brides and mothers of the bride. And you probably produce content and show before and afters and create information and solve the problems of day of wedding application. That is a specific niche. It could probably be even narrowed down further from that point, but that's a start. And if anyone needs help with this, just let me know. I actually love doing this kind of marketing work. I really love like breaking down who the audience is, what the problems are that you're solving, because on Thursday, and you're going to need to know this, because on Thursday, the work that we're going to do together is going to take our list of 20 problems, your three identities or the three target markets that you are serving and then take them one step further as we continue to create content. I have heard some of you say recently, I think I'm running out of ideas or I just don't want to do the same thing over and over again. This is really going to help with that in addition to inspiring the rest of us to consider something that maybe we haven't thought of already. So the second thing that some of you are thinking is, Lauren, I don't want to leave anybody out. So if I come up with just three, you know, who, who am I leaving out? I, I, I don't want to forget anybody. And then some of you are thinking, but I was told that I should only talk to just one audience. 
like, let me figure this out. And let me give you another example. And this is out of our industry. If on a corner there was a sign or an advertisement, or let's say the real estate agent was standing there. Let's say a real estate agent is standing on a corner and they were like, I sell houses. I sell houses to everybody. I sell new houses. I sell used houses. I sell, uh, you know, uh, fixer uppers. I, I just sell all kinds of houses. And up walks a couple that is looking to buy their very first new construction starter home. Never owned a home before, they're young, they're looking for new construction. Are they gonna go with the real estate agent to just sell houses, or are they gonna go to the real estate agent that says that they specialize in new construction for first time home buyers? Do you hear the difference? The first time home buyer is gonna go to the real estate agent that says they specialize in first time home buying. Now, don't get me wrong, people are still going to be able to say, hey, I bought a home from them, they were great, you can go there and get a home, they're going to do an excellent job, they're going to treat you right. But as far as narrowing it down and making sure that you're getting the right clientele to pay attention to the area of specialty that you prefer, narrowing it down for the right clientele, you getting this for the area of specialty you prefer is really going to hone in on your strengths and then the products and the services that you have available and the problems that you are willing and able to solve. Now, what is incredible to see, what something that's gonna be quite spectacular with this is that we are all basically within the same industry and we're gonna see all of the different identities and all of the different audiences that we are serving as a collective whole. That is gonna be awesome. You guys will be super impressed by that, I always am. Let me check my notes. Okay. Another point to make about, and I, I love this, I can't forget this, another point to make about making sure that you identify some specific target markets. And remember, I'm just asking you to come up with three. So you're just gonna put your three specific target markets down below, and I will do mine as well. But when you do that, and you really identify and hone in on your skill set and the products and services that you're providing to solve the problems that you have in your business, then you aren't speaking like over anyone and you aren't watering down your content. Your content is laser focused to the person that is listening to you or needing to listen to you. It also makes the content really shareable because someone's gonna say, hey, this person has great ideas and they're gonna share that on to their friends and their loved ones that they think it speaks to as well. Or it will make them think of someone and they're gonna say, oh my gosh, you know, so-and-so has this problem. Well, I know a person that specializes in that. And there's a whole gamut of opportunity here. Honestly, I think that it is really going to be something to see what all of our areas of specialty are. Like, I just, you know, you, you guys are going to appreciate that. Um, and then when you're doing this, <clears throat> the variety of specific target markets can also include something else that we're going to do that isn't, like, we're going to talk to them for, reasons like if you are focusing on weddings let me give this example like i mentioned earlier if you're focusing on mother of the bride and bride and bridal party like day of makeup then you may also have some interesting tips and tricks to give in the form of content that is not a product or service that you specifically give but is something that's very helpful like on day of here's some things to remember to pack in your bag or here's a really fun way to uh, set up the day of gathering if you're getting in a salon or if you're meeting in a hotel room or you know don't forget to bring extra mirrors I mean just like little helpful tips that would then make you an authority in your space so that if somebody says hey I'm looking for someone to do wedding makeup they're gonna be like oh so-and-so does a really good job on the face but then they also know this and they know this and they know this and they know everybody in the industry and they are it that's who you need to talk to those are some examples of that one way that I have tried to do that for my own personal self, so now I'll give a personal anecdote for you, is on my Lauren Fast page. Thank you so much for that. You guys, that's like um, a fireworks show when the likes and the loves and the smiles and stuff go off in the corner when people are watching Facebook Live, you know, so just looking for a grand finale. <laughs> Those are my favorites. So um, in my personal platform for my personal branding, Lauren Fast, for example, today I partnered with a day spa, and so I have maintained and continued to establish my authority in the space of celebrating all things beautiful 
But what I like to talk to people is about saving time. So if you do different services, ultimately, this is going to save you time in your life as being a busy modern woman. In my world, you know, we have four children. They're very busy. I work jobs. You know, that makes me very busy. So what is it in my life, in my daily beauty routine, that's going to help me to save time? And that is the language that I speak. That's the target market that I communicate with. Really busy moms in a modern world who also want to look sexy. Like, that's, that's definitely a thing that um, I have been honing in on. Um, and then another non-product-based example that I'm going to give tomorrow, and I want to get, don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but as another example of my target market, I think it's important to have a beautiful smile. And I've actually partnered with my dentist. <laughs> and so tomorrow is a non-product-based example, but my audience, my target market, which is a modern woman with really busy life but super wants to look her very best, I'm going to partner with my dentist tomorrow to talk about some tooth whitening techniques and tooth care so that not only does your face look great with your skin care and your makeup, but that your smile, which is your calling card, is looking its best too. And then I'm also going to partner with him to get that professional advice. Those are just some examples. Those are not, like I'm not saying go partner with your dentist, although it's super cool. Um, but if you have the opportunity to establish yourself as an authority with your specific audience, remember you're going to identify three. So down below here in the comments, I want you guys to put down your three target markets that you're communicating with on your business page when you are representing the products and services that you provide and the problems that you solve. Okay, I think that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you all. So. If you have any questions, I definitely want you guys to put those in there too. This group has been incredible. Like I am super impressed with the work that you're producing, the thought that you're putting into it. I'm really excited about moving into the next steps of laser coaching. coaching. Tashima, I got your message. I'm calling you next. <laughs> and I am looking forward to Thursday morning. So you'll need this for Thursday morning. So think about it. Write it down. Whether you watch this now or you catch it in the replay, and put it in the comments below so that you can use that to enrich your thinking and expand your horizons on Thursday. Okay, see you guys.